What is it? It's Absolver, a game that I found on the PlayStation Store and decided to have a go at. Released last year, it's a martial arts RPG that tries to be much better than it is, I fear. You start off as a peasant dude who is chosen by head monk of your monastery or whatever it is to be an absolver. You get given a gift by a crystal ghost who decides to make you the mask from the movie with Jim Carrey. You go out into the world, it's very pretty. Uh, although some of the graphics do let it down, there's a lot of clipping, um, there's a lot of the graphics really looking like they're on the first stage of buffering and not loading properly at all. Customization is there through pickups, which is the only thing you can pick up. And the RPG element is taken care of with all the usual stats. My guy looks like a shit Vega from Street Fighter. He acts like a tranquilized Jackie Chan while I'm performing ham gymnastics doing the lengthy tutorial processes. Master of all styles. <laughs> you have to perform ham gymnastics to try and get through the tutorials, which hurts. And after you do get to the fighting, which is a bit slower than you'd like it to be, the animations are slightly clunky, and to be honest, it doesn't flow smoothly at all. This leads you into a corridor to corridor, fight to fight, find the door that doesn't open, oh how do I open this door, oh I've got to fight some bloke who's nowhere near the door, who's somehow in charge of the door to give me a map that doesn't make any bloody sense whatsoever. You go back to the door, what's on the other side of the door you ask? Well, this is a fighting game, so there's a fucking fight, dickhead. The lock system sort of works and then sort of doesn't work, it's handy and then not handy. Does it on its own, does it with you. I can't help but think Batman did the fighting better than this. Although the locations are much better in this game I would say. There's a genuine sense of scale. Although the NPCs in this game are soulless, they're dead. I mean this guy is actually dead, look at him. Not even blinking, nothing. All of the information is delivered through text, there's no audio whatsoever, and it's just drivel. Go here and defeat these people so that you can fight another person to open a gate to fight more people. Multiplayer is a sort, sort of journey-like affair, where people procedurally join your journey, uh, you could actually have an unlimited number from what I could tell. At one point I had seven people with me, but unfortunately it's almost impossible to find people who will stay with you forever. So you're left alone. Uh, you could actually outnumber the enemies quite significantly, and when you do, this is when it becomes sort of the spaghetti martial arts film that this game is trying to be, because you all end up waiting your turn so you don't batter each other. Uh, it's really a melee where you're just <laughs> hanging around watching other people fight. Also, when you do fight and you hit the other person, if it's a sort of a critical strike, it will reset your partnership so you become enemies, so to speak. This means if you want to keep your friends, you'll be in and out of the menus like I am at an all you can eat restaurant. I played for about three hours and I was generally impressed by some of the design, some of the fight is amusing, although you do spend most of your time kicking your mates off the of ledges. <laughs> oh, they're jumping off and killing yourself. Yeah, full damage is a thing. Generally impressed by some of the graphical design, uh, the vistas and the scale is perfect in this game. But the controls and the fight mechanics and pretty much everything else let the side down at times. Also, the story's never explained any further, which seems fitting in a game that doesn't quite seem like it's been finished off properly. Bruce Wayne wouldn't be impressed by this, because I think Batman would do this game much better. The fighting's not fluid, it's not God of War, it's not Batman, Arkham, any of those. It's its own game, it has its own setting, and it is very pretty. The Frantic Fist style of martial arts kept me hooked, and some of the settings are generally epic. Some of the individual fights ended up feeling a lot bigger than they were, simply because of where I had them.
This genre has been totally owned by God of War, but Absolver could be a nice welcome alternative if you fancy your main characters to be a little less beardy. 